Huh? What's happening here? Conscious women birthing babies by multiple men are courageously choosing the responsibility of healing multiple bloodlines simultaneously. We live in a world where a man tells us that they're the prize now, that they're high value, and that nobody wants a strong-willed, strong-minded, successful, independent woman. I, let me just clarify that. You know, being successful, independent, and all that other shit. It's not about your successes in your life. It's the attitudes and the behaviors that come from that archetype of woman. They require your attention. These women require your approval and your undivided attention. It's similar to oxygen. They can't live without it. It's like food to them. What attracts the most attention from women is not paying attention to them. Nobody wants someone who doesn't pay attention to them, but women definitely feed off of it more than men. A girl stated, I feel like a man should be obsessed with me as a woman. Do you believe that women benefit men by providing them with physical intimacy? Another woman stated, as a female, if I can go talk to someone or flirt with someone, and I see that they're just all over me, it turns me off right away. But if I go to you and I'm flirting with you, but you're hesitant or don't show me any attention, I wonder why and it makes me more interested. So yeah, I completely agree with that statement. Are women more impressed by what a man is willing or unwilling to do to obtain intimate relations? The amount of men who give women unearned, unconditional attention on social media is embarrassing, disturbing, and hilarious all at the same time. A woman shakes her body for 15 seconds, and all she gets are comments from thirsty guys. Losers guys who don't have high self-esteem, who don't love themselves, so they ease them. They keep saying, you're so amazing, oh you're so perfect. They don't even know these women, and the women would never want to be with them in real life. It's having the opposite effect, so it's blowing average to below average looking women's egos up. So because of guys like this, women have all these different qualifications they want from a guy. All these guys do is give women a false sense of reality. So the average to below average woman believes she deserves a celebrity or a 10 out of 10 because they can't give women constructive criticism. So many guys don't have standards, and they just go right through the roof, getting thrown out because they're desperate for companionship and physical intimacy. They actually believe that one day out of all these different men, out of all these different thirsty guys, the army of losers, this woman will notice them and say, you know what, let's go on a date. Let's have intimate relations. It will never occur. These women require your validation, so you must limit it, saying, you know what this woman is doing for me? Is she cooking up with me? Is that someone you know complimenting me? In fact, when was the last time a woman hopped in your dems or commented on a picture of you and said, oh, you're handsome, you're cute? What was the last time? Probably never for the majority of you. So what's the point of doing it for her? They'll use you up, bleed you dry, and you'll never be able to hang out with them. You see her on the outside, but what about her heart, her intentions, her morals or values, her character? Do you ask yourself that, or are you just so thirsty that you just get sick right away? Some guys say, I'm going to fight for her, and they try to show up for the woman, kind of like a royal rumble, and then they fight and the girl just sits back, and the dudes get hurt. Who do you think gets the girl? None of the men. You must have some sort of game, some sort of skill set, and you must prioritize yourself. If you lack confidence, you will sit online and jump from video to video, social media platform to social media platform giving women praise and boosting your ego. Get out there and interact with women. You're already a step ahead of all those e-simp because you're meeting women in public, having a conversation, your social skills are improving, and your chances of getting provided and getting a girlfriend or whatever you want are much better. She doesn't want weak, watered-down compliments. She's had enough of them. She wants compliments and praise from a guy in real life who isn't afraid to interact with her, who isn't afraid to approach her, which is why you must monitor your attention time and validation. When it comes to dealing with women, you need a ROI or a return on your investment for all the things you do for her. Women do not respect or value men who are beta males or who are simply thirsty on the internet. If you are one of those men, you must stop. You should get some help. You say, you know I should change my ways. What is it that makes me follow all these random Instagram accounts? Value your time and attention and you will value yourself. Don't forget to hit the like button to help spread the word about this video. Thank you for taking your daily dose of red pills, and remember that a red pill a day keeps bad poker hands away. So have a good rest of your day and cheers.